Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Suzanne Klaproth, the show director for Domatex in Germany. Suzanne, how are you doing? Hi, Kemp. I'm fine. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. So Domatex in Hanover, it's the largest flooring show in the world. It happens in January every year. This year, January 14th to the 17th. So it starts on a Saturday and runs till Tuesday. And I thought we'd talk to our listeners, tell them a little bit about some of the plans this year. So let's start out with, I've applauded Domatex's feature that they added about four or five years ago called Innovations at Domatex. I know you're continuing that. One of the neat things about that is that you've got a jury. I think you've got this Stefan Diaz, who's a designer in Germany, and he heads this up. He builds a lot of other designers, and they judge these products. So this is not something that you pay to be a part of. It's uh, objective. And one of the ways that I work the show, by the way, is I go to those displays and look at those products, and that's what tells me who I need to go see. So you're doing that again this year, right? Yes, exactly. As, as you mentioned at CAM, started it four years ago, and we, we invite our customers, our exhibitors, to register their latest products, which they would like to show during Domotex 2017. And as Domotex is quite huge, we have in total about 1,400 exhibitors and in total more than 88,000 square meter nets. So we try to select the newest innovations and the latest products we have this jury who selects the best of the best, and they are shown on the special displays. So the visitor coming to the show, and he stays at least about two days, he has the chance to get a first view on the latest products on this area, and then he has the chance to go directly to the stand, to the booth of the company, to get more information about the product. Right. Let me accentuate what you just said a second ago. Domatex, the largest flooring show in the world, 12 buildings, uh, 45 thousand attendees 1400 exhibitors and uh, you cannot see the show in one day just physically to walk from one end to the other it's too big for that and you're expecting at least as strong a show in 17 as you've had the previous years right yes we're very happy and we're very proud to be honest because Domotex is growing within the last few years and so we have an increase in number of exhibitors as well in mm-hmm. terms of space. So we have about 60% of all our trade show visitors are coming from outside Germany, and they stay about two days. So we try to give them any support because they cannot go through all the halls. Right. We offer guided tours to them and the special areas where, where they can get a rough overview. And another thing that's happened just economically that makes this show even more important is, uh, you know, the strength of the dollar versus the euro means that this market, it's a global market, but some of those products uh, are more affordable to import into the country. So that should bode well for you as well. Let's talk for a quick second about the key exhibitors from this country that go to your show. I I know Bowie of America and Cortec and Mohawk is there with some of their brands. They're there as part of the Lano space, I think. And then they also have IVC and Unilin have spaces. There's no tile at this show. It's every flooring type but tile, right? Yeah. So we expect about 20 exhibitors from the U.S., which means in terms of space about 1,500 square meters only by U.S. companies. Yeah. And all those companies showing different products groups from handmade cups and rugs, but also for a textile or a Brazilian flooring. So we are very happy. We have a lot of long-term exhibitors from the U.S. at Domotex. Yeah, and I forgot to mention the pavilions you have. You have two pavilions. One of them is focused on wood, which is hosted by the NWFA, the National Wood Floor Covering Association. And then there's the one that is done by the AFA, which is primarily equipment to use to manufacture flooring, uh, but also some sub-brands as well. Both of those are going to be at least as big as last year, right? Yes, the stand of the American Floor Covering Alliance will be a little bit larger than in the previous year. So there are more than 400 square meters right now. So it's still growing. All right. I noticed that you have a a world-famous designer, Alfredo Haberly is going to be speaking on Saturday, so I look forward to listening to that. Tell us some other of, of the new things you're doing this year. Yeah, we're very proud to have uh, Alfredo Heberly as a special guest at Domotex. He's a very famous European designer, and he also attracts a lot of visitors from the interior design scene. And he will talk about living in the future, which are the requirements, which are the latest trends. And we're very proud. He's here on the first day on Saturday. 
and he will be also heading one of the guided tours. We offer guided tours to all our visitors, and we show them around to the latest products, and Mr. Hebeli will also be one of the guides of these guided tours. So I think it will be very exciting. People coming to the show, they are interested in the latest developments, and they would like to know what are the trends for the future for the forthcoming years. So the, for the very first time for Domotex 2017, we invited some young designers from five different European countries to, let's say, to rethink floor covering. They are very interested in the floor covering topics, and they are not going to present the products, but they will develop their ideas and their view on the flooring of the future. So I think this will be a certain, a certain kind of inspiration for all the visitors and the exhibitors as well. What do young designers think about flooring in the future? This would be interesting because I was you and I were talking about this before the interview. So you say this is a group of thirty something, thirty year old people who are perhaps rethinking the way flooring should be in the future. Is that right? Exactly. So they do not stick to the products which are already on the market, mm -hmm. but they try to rethink. What are the future options? Which which kind of requirements does the flooring of the future or should have? So I think there will be a lot of inspiration also for the producers of floor coverings as well. Mm -hmm. And I think it's interesting as we are a very international show, we invited them from Turkey, Scotland, Netherlands, France, and also Germany. So it will be also a very international view on this kind of trends. We started some years ago to create a special carpet design award for handmade carpets and rugs. It's called the Carpet Design Awards at Domotex. And we're very proud we have we could win Stephanie Odegaard from New York. She is the head of the jury, and this jury selects. We had about more than 300 entries from all over the world with the latest product and rug uh, products. And they selected 24 finalists, which will be shown during Domotex. Okay. A couple of real quick questions. I'm sure it's too soon to tell what the weather's going to be like in the middle of January in Hanover yet, can you? <laughs> I hope we could, but yeah. at, uh, right now it's getting colder and colder in yeah. Germany, so we're, maybe we have some snow in, in January. We don't know, of course. Yeah, and then, Suzanne, if somebody who has not gone to this show before has any questions, I mean, you have representatives in the U.S., the Hanover Fairs people, that they can contact to answer any questions, right? Exactly. We have a subsidiary uh, they are based in Chicago, mm -hmm. and they can provide and assist all the, the visitors and also exhibitors in terms of hotel accommodation or any recommendation, uh, how they could prepare their trip. And they're very experienced, and we would be very happy if we could assist the visitors and exhibitors from the U.S. if they plan the visit to Domotex. No, they can contact me, and I can hook them up with Noel. Suzanne, it's great to talk to you. I look forward to being at your show again this coming year. I've been talking to Suzanne Cl Klaproff, the show director for Domotex in Hanover, which is going to be January the 14th to the 17th, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.